thoughts are back on the twisted Skeletas and his honeyed words of violence. You called for me, my lord? I don't need to. <laughs> they are all the same. There is but one thing on your mind, and it won't go away until your thirsty urge is sated. I come here, for I wish to bring you another powerful tithe. But I cannot grant you this prize quite yet. You must do something divinely unspeakable first. You will receive a royal prize for killing this pretty girl. Isabel, the cleric with the sweetest face of the moon. She is too precious to live. Why? The greatest crime of them all. <laughs> Nothing at all. Oh, Master, consider the tiny mishap with the bard you had the last time we met, hmm? Your unconscious clever mind hungers for extreme violence. Who knows who you might kill next if you do not satisfy your urge. Be true to yourself, my lord. This is the one Scalaritas sent you to kill. Every scrap of your marrow yearns to end her. On with you. Unless you want to come back to a gaggle of shadow-cursed harpers. And yet, you hesitate. She doesn't believe you will do it. You can see she wants to believe there is mercy in all, even in the worst. You aren't the first to threaten me. But I know the eyes of a killer when I see them. You mean me no harm, do you? An experienced cleric can tell such things. The urge within does not want to talk. The restless urge starts to scream. Moon Maiden. Have mercy on this poor soul. I don't see how she... Unless some cultists sneaked in. The gods will be overrun. Isabel is gone. Soon the shadows will wash us all away. Listen closely, for there's very little time. Even if last light falls, your mission does not change. You must find Catherick Thorn. And you must kill him. As impossible as that task sounds, there must be a way to break the spell that makes him invincible. There are secrets in this ancient waste hidden from... But hark, something stirs.
It's happening. They'll all be taken by the shadows. Only by the grace of Isabel's spell will we be spared the same fate. We cannot hesitate. Not even for those we knew. Those we cared for. They're no longer who they were. Steal your hearts and steady your hands. To battle! It's all over. They're all gone. My brave ones, my friends, my harpers. I led them here. To this. But you live. A single green leaf holding fast on a tree ravaged by winter. Yes. I adorn the crown of the Oak Father still. And as long as I do, there's an ever so slim chance I could make it back to Baldur's Gate. If I can warn the Dukes, an army of absolutists is on the march. Perhaps the city still stands a fighting chance. That proud determination of yours should shame me. But it heartens me instead. Pull aside the curtain of years and I can see myself echoing your resolve. Very well. I'll join you. And when Ketherick falls, I'll be there. For us, for them, and for the ones we love back home. Owing to your dubious compulsions, we've lost crucial allies. You may be powerful, but you are not insightful. You killed Isabel. And all those people besides. What's wrong with you? I want to, but I don't know how. And I'm starting to wonder if there's anything I can do. Or anything you can do. You have to stay strong. You have to resist. If you don't, we're all doomed. Isabel, Saluna's light made real. And you slaughtered her like cattle and left last light for the shadows to feed on. I'd ask what's become of you, but perhaps this is who you've been all along. Either way, I mourn for the image of you I once held dear. A lot of people died because you lost the run of yourself. Isabel shielded them from the shadows, and you left them vulnerable. If you can't control yourself, you're nothing but a liability. Whatever these dark powers of yours may be, they serve no purpose if you cannot control them. Or yourself. What a terrible waste. Your kill of that poor cleric can mean only one thing. The vile Scleritas will be here soon enough. Oh, uh, apologies for the tardiness, my festering liege. I was away, admiring her body. I have never seen a torn tibia quite like that. A part of your past is here for you. I come with your disgusting prize. Oh, soon enough everyone in the Sword Coast and beyond will know about you. But you yearn for the sordid scandal deep down, don't you? Come closer, my depraved prodigy. <sighs> ah, try on your new gin jams. They're a present from father. It would be rude not to. Such 
such a strapping young behemoth. <laughs> you cannot speak, but you have command over your own cruelty. So handsome, so brazen. <laughs> this form is the Slayer. <gasps> You will do many naughty feats with it. Oh, I wish I had time to wax your hide and brush your spines. But your adoring butler must away. But you should be hopeful for your bright future. You are going to kill again soon. You will keep chopping down the Moon Maiden's family tree. I shall return when you next have need of me. I have your estate to attend to. We will meet again there. Good night, sweet master. <laughs> 